Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? This is Reese or Brush Yet Cub, and uh, welcome back to another episode of our Tech It Let's Play Adventure! And uh, sorry about that last episode, I know it came out a little bit short, but it was really just something that I, I felt like I needed to record and upload, but as you can see I have an inventory full of stuff, and that's because I've been working around the clock, actually for about, eh, maybe 45 minutes, uh, trying to, trying to get a bunch of stuff together, because in this episode we're going to add some modifications to our armor and I remember how many resources it took last time so I spent a lot of time digging and just trying to gather up as many resources as I could so I would go ahead and be ready for it. I did neglect to clean out my clean out my inventory afterward though so I should probably zip through that real quick and you guys don't mind watching do you? Not at all. You guys, you guys enjoy this sort of thing. It's like oh yes we want to reach put up yeah. I don't know why I always do that voice. That's the voice C-Nanners has for his followers. And it just is the first thing that comes to mind. Although I'm sure most of you don't sound like that. I'm sure you all sound like a bunch of mature young gentlemen and, and young ladies. Because I've noticed an increase in young lady viewers. I don't know why. I, I'm still not sure why guys want to listen to me. I have no reason why girls would want to listen to me. I guess it's possible I'm just that entertaining. Or well, perhaps they find my voice irresistible. Highly doubt the latter though. Maybe I'm just entertaining. I'm gonna go ahead and say I hey, I, I think I'm entertaining. I laugh at myself all the time. I'm just I'm just that I'm just that awesome. And apparently I'm not conceited too. But uh, all of this has just been a long drawn out monologue uh, to kill time while that copper finished cooking up so that now we can go ahead and update the armor. So thank you for bearing with me. I think I've been just yammering for two minutes and 19 seconds now. According to the audacity over there, I guess technically there was a, a small check period in there where I had to... Okay, anyway, the video's not... Mm, yeah, okay, moving on. So right now we have two batteries. One is in the power gauntlet and one is in the boots. Now I want to replace both of those with one elite battery. And uh, we need to build that. And then I also want to build in the helmet. We can build a solar generator. And in the uh, chest place plate we can build a thermal generator so it'll generate power from extreme amounts of heat and then the last but not least is the kinetic generator and I don't think there's one for the boots no or for the hands no so yeah so we got to build those three things let's start off by building the super awesome battery first which I guess will be put in the boots so for that we are going to need HV capacitor now we looked at these before but uh, we decided against them because it was a bit of a bit of work to build it, and I was feeling lazy at the time. But we cannot be lazy now. We must we must build things. And the first thing we need to build is this energy cell, which is electron ingots, hardened glass, and a diamond. And believe it or not, I think I I think I already might have none of those materials readily available. Take that back. I might have electron. I don't even have electron ingots anymore. I don't even remember how to make them. It's been a while. But it looks like it is an electron blend, which is pulverized silver and pulverized gold. So we've got plenty of gold. Silver hasn't been on my priority list. I didn't think about needing it, so it doesn't look like we have any. But we do have some ore, so we'll toss that into the pulverizer real quick. There we go. Now while that works, let's go ahead and work on that hardened glass. Do I have any left over? I have two, but I will need... Oopsie doodle. I'll need two more, so... I already have the pulverized lead, I just need more pulverized obsidian, which I keep over here. Even though I commonly forget where I keep it. That's enough silver for now, let's go ahead and put the obsidian in there. There we go. And I think we needed, let's just go ahead and make 10 of these, or 20 of them, I guess. Because it's always useful. Nice to have it. This will give us one hardened glass. And that is a start, my young friends, my young Padawans. That's, that. yes. Yes, Padawans. Y'all are my Padawan. I can't go with that. That's probably copywritten by uh, Mr. Lucas or someone. I guess Disney now. It would be copywritten by Disney. There we go. I need to think of a better name for you. The Cubs. My Cubs. My young Cublings. We... <laughs> that's awful. Uh, I don't know. Uh, my, my, my fellow... Whoa, six. Wow, that was fast. Okay. What am I doing? Right. Right. A couple of... Uh, what's the shape? One, two, three, four. Oh, this is the regular crafting bench. I built a crafting bench up here for when I need to, like, power make things. And then I built an auto crafting table for when I'm building something I don't know the recipe. And kind of look away and then come back and it'll still be there. 
So that's nifty. And then I don't remember what goes in the center. So we're gonna grab a little bit of everything until I, I think it was a diamond actually. So we'll just randomly try things until BAM! We get the energy cell, which is actually exactly what we wanted. Go, go away screen. Okay, so... What a... <laughs> HV, I shouldn't have done that. That was very foolish of me. This will need 400 MBs of redstone. So let's go ahead and put this in here. And let's see how much MBs one redstone will create. Give us 100. And was it 400 or 4,000? It's 4,000. Alrighty then. Let's just get to town with it then. It's actually going quite quickly, and I don't want it to go over. So let's let those go, and we'll see where we're at. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that should bring us up to 2,000, I think. Yes. So we need 20 more. See, I can, I can do the math. I can do it. And then we just need some wiring, and we got plenty of wiring, but I have a feeling we're going to need a lot more. So that's just copper and more silver. All right, so I should definitely have paid attention beforehand to the amount of silver we're going to need. I, You know what's sad is I actually walked past a lot of silver because it just didn't occur to me that we would need it, and we're probably going to need... Let's face it, we're definitely going to need some more of this stuff, so we'll let that keep going. And, okay, that's, get, that's, that's going along quite nicely. Do I not have any silver? I have four silver. Hmm. No pulverized silver, though. Lots of pulverized iron. I made sure to get iron. Oh, I did find one more ferrous ore, too. So maybe we will get lucky and we'll get a shiny ingot out of the dill, although I highly doubt it. It never seems to work out. But right, I was going to make some more wiring real fast. Got plenty of copper. And that goes in there like so... Need a couple more silver. Oops. Yeah, see, I, I keep forgetting which which crafting table I'm using. All right, there we go. 16 more wires. Ought to come in handy. What was I waiting for? This thing. Da da. So it's that thing, and it's two of these, and that will give us the high voltage capacitor. And then we're gonna open up the boots, and we're gonna take. We're gonna see if we can scavenge or salvage. Nope, didn't salvage that. Can we salvage the one? Eh, let's leave the one in the hand. Let's install the Elite battery into the boots. And... Obviously, we can make it... It, mm, it holds a lot more energy, and it's only a couple of pounds heavier, it seems, than the last advanced battery. So how much energy does this hold exactly? Where are my boots? Good gosh. I'm gonna guess M stands for million. Oh, that's never gonna get full. We're going to try, though. We're going to try, and we're gonna actually going to give it a quick boost real fast. Right now, we have three magmatic engines running down here. But we went ahead and kept these just in case we ever wanted to give the system a quick energy boosts. Good way to, to make sure we don't ever run out of energy. Even though, I mean, we won't ever run out of energy, but we can easily uh, overdo the system. There we go. So that ought to keep the energy flowing... Uh, take that back. It is going to drain out the energy cell, but doesn't matter. We it, it'll continue to create power, and that's what's important. Oh, good grief! I I don't know when I'll ever need this much power. But if we're going to the moon, which is the reason we're doing all of this, this is all in preparation for our return to the moon. A lot of power is going to come in handy, I think. Wow. Okay. So the next thing we want to build is the solar generator, which is going to be two control circuits and a solar panel. So I say we start with the control circuits. Why, you might ask? Because I'm crazy! Glowstone, electromingots, redstone, and wiring. Okay? So the only thing I don't have in my inventory is the glowstone. So we can pull this up real quick. Those. These. That this, and we need two of those, actually. Would have been prudent of me to think of that at first. There we go, two of those. And then the solar panel. And I've really got to figure out something to do with this keyboard because it gets a little bit, whoa. A solar engine? 
Oh, this must be for uh, Steve's carts, which we're not even getting into yet. So two energy conduits, they have to be empty though. Bam, there's four of them. Okay, a lapis lazuli block, a redstone transmission coil, and three glass. So glass should be right here. Redstone transmission coil we can make if we just can find a little bit of silver. There we go. And then that lapis block. I should have some lapis. It's never one of those things that I go out and actively search for. Because let's face it, you never use it. <laughs> but uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad I did have some. It did come in handy right now, so that's good. Energy conduits. I remember back toward the beginning of the series when creating energy conduits was a nightmare experience. Now it's so simple. Alright, so we got the solar panel and we got the two control circuits. So let's install the solar generator. And let's go take a walk around outside. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to tell that it's doing anything. I, what I'm wondering is if it stores power into a battery in the helmet or if it will if it actually power the whole suit. If not, I need to put at least some sort of battery into the helmet if it's not going to power the whole suit. If you guys know, it would it would oh, it would it would be do me it would be a big favor if you guys Oh, look, it is working. Never mind. I was going to say you guys should please comment and let me know, but now we know. And so I'm going to assume that's applicable for all the different pieces. So, thermal generator Two more control circuits is a basic plating. And does this require some control circuits? It does. Let's go ahead and build three control circuits. What is that recipe? Right. That's a solar panel. That's that's definitely not it. I have to... Uh, I see, I, this is still my... I've had the gaming rig for a couple of months now. And I'm still just not used to it. So I'm not used to the keyboard yet. And I'm still not used to the layout. And so because I can't see my keyboard, I never have any idea what I'm about to hit. So three of those, three of those, there we go, that will give us three control circuits and some basic plating will be iron and a tin gear. Now we should have plenty of tin, I should have a lot of iron but we don't. So let's be proactive on that and go ahead and throw some in there. And let's see what we can do here. One piece of tin surrounded by iron? No, no, it's one piece of iron surrounded by tin. Yeah, tin gear. And then iron, <laughs> we just barely had enough. Basic plating, okay, get more cooking up so we don't have to worry about it. Install, and this, we can adjust the weight for, I guess, eh, I don't want to make the suit too heavy. That's not too bad. Luckily, we have those servo motors to keep everything moving quickly. The thing with this is, I don't really know how I mean, often we're going to get into intense heat. I mean, could I, in theory, strike a fire? I could make a heat sink so we can soak up the heat. It's going to need more basic plating. And I guess that'll keep us safe if I were to, like, dive into lava, in theory, and charge the armor. Let's give that a shot real fast, actually, while we're on here. I mean, why not? I, I, I firmly believe... It is my job to try everything, just for y'all's sake, so y'all will know if it works or not. Let's let's give this a shot. Tin, iron, basic plating. There we go. Install the heat sink. That's thickening it up, and we are starting to take a hit on our, our movement speed. So can we crank up our movement motors any? Walking assist. Let's crank it up a little bit. Draw a little bit more power. There we go. But it'll keep us moving quickly. And with all the power we're now storing, not too worried about it. Oh, I built this little fence system to keep the monsters from coming. Well, they can still come through the portal, assuming they can get over this fence. But it, it does sort of help. So let's see. If I jump into some lava. Yeah, so normally you see over there next to where I store energy, it'll show you heat. And in that area, if it ever gets too hot, I don't really know what happens, but it skyrockets. And it's not skyrocket anymore, but at the same time... I don't really see us gaining any power. We're at 8.6 now. I'm just going to sit here and stare at it for a little bit, and we're going to see what happens. Yeah, nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. 
What is up? Oh, now it is. Yeah, it looks like we're going up a little bit, but I don't really think it's worth it. I mean, we are on fire. And then we died. Oops. Okay, well, we didn't lose anything. Except for the fact that we are still on fire and we are overheating. We need to... <laughs> we need to fix this. I didn't even notice that I was taking damage. Okay. <laughs> Wow, so we don't want to we don't want to do that. We we definitely want to avoid doing that. Oh, I didn't think about the hit our jet boots would take with all of this added weight. We probably need to build a jetpack. We'll worry about that in a second though. We need to progress. We need to get down here and build this thing, which is going to need two servo motors for kinetic energy and servo motors we've built before. Servo motors. Yes, yeah, the pneumatics and those are pretty simple. We'll build a couple of those real fast. So let's get that recipe up there. Oh, no. Let's get this recipe up there. So redstone, glass, iron, that's pneumatic, and then servo, we're gonna need two wiring and then two solenoids, so four solenoids actually. Now solenoids will require wiring and that means we need to make some more wiring. And I actually think it takes six wiring. Iron? Yes, to create one solenoid. Wow, so we're actually going to need quite a bit of this stuff. So is this all of the silver that I have left over now? It's just six silver? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Unless there's some more in here getting pulverized? No, but we have more silver down there. Da, 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 da. That was my excited, triumphant declaration sound, in case you couldn't tell. One, two, three silver. There we go. And I'm just going to keep the keep just keep making it. <laughs> actually, we can make a bit more here. That should actually take care of everything that we need. There you go, two of these, two of these. Again, another recipe that was really hard last time we tried it. Very simple now. Got our servo motors. And, of course, we already built the control circuit last time. And energy generated all the way up to the top. We're going to be really slow now. So we should probably we should probably fix... Whoa. And we're starting to overheat, guys. That's not a good sign. Apparently, we're generating heat now because we have so much stuff on our armor. This doesn't bode well. Let's crank this up a bit. And the boots are pretty much not effective at all. So obviously, let's just crank the power assist all the way up. There we go. And compensation needs to be tweaked a little bit. It's a bit much, but I kind of like it. Just crank power all the way up too. There we go. So this is supposedly going to generate... It's actually generating more power than it's using. How do you like that? It's also creating a lot of heat, though. So where can I put something to dissipate heat? A uh, thick layer of plating to soak up the heat? I guess we can install a heat sink on everything. But that seems sort of heavy. Maybe a little bit. Just maybe a little bit. Maybe if we turn down some of the generators. What do you guys... I don't know. I'm, I don't like making decisions like this. I'll tell you what. Let's not worry about it right now. Energy shield. Much lighter than plating, but consumes energy. <sighs> Guys, I don't... I'm torn here because I don't want a suit that's constantly heating up. Let's make a jetpack. What the hey? We're on here. Jetpack needs four iron thrusters. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is fun. Iron... That's not right. Thrusters. Ion thrusters. So, how many of them do we need? Four? Good grief. So, Envar will need 12 Envar ingots. Just seem to remember us having some issues with last time. Envar blend is just ferrous metal and iron. Oh, this is pulverized tin. 
Well, then has your problem. Iron. Ferris. So that's going to take up all of our Ferris metal right there. Well, we still have a single ore in here. What else do we need on this? Some glowstone, some wire, and we have that. A force field emitter, though, is going to need an unattuned tesseract and some wiring. So we're going to need four unattuned tesseracts. Oh, good grief. So this just got expensive. So hardened glass. We've got plenty of, thank goodness. Tin we've got plenty of, and diamonds we have... Well, we have diamonds. I'm not going to say we have plenty of them. But let's get that recipe in there. I think the most expensive thing here is going to be turning uh, iron... It's not silver, it's tin. It's turning the iron into the ender pearls that we're going to need here in a second. So tin... Oh dear. One, two, three, four of those. And then unattuned. Tesseract. Yep. It's resonant ender. So I have to put these in here. And then we'll have to make some of those. So where's the minium shard? Didn't quite get all those numbers even the way I had hoped. There we go. So eight, I reckon, will fill up. I can't remember, but I think that'll fill up two of them. Let me check real fast. Yeah, so it needs a thousand. I think this creates 250 each. Yeah, so we need 10 more. Which means we're going to need a lot more iron. And we'll go ahead and throw that in there, but actually a really quick way to make iron. At the sacrifice of a diamond. There we go. And I'll go ahead and keep doing this until we have what we need, and then we will return. There we go, that'll be our unattuned tesseract. Now we're going to have to sacrifice some more silver in the name of copper wiring, which is very expensive. I mean, good grief. There we go. How many of these are we going to have to have? We're going to have to have six force field emitters. No, we're not. We're going to have to, let's see, four. We're going to have to eight unattuned tesseracts for our eight force field emitters. So we have to make even more of these now. Oh, good grief. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that real fast then. I'll be, I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, well after that it would appear as though we still don't have enough resources, which means I'm going to have to go back downstairs, into the caves. Heaven help me, I've got to find more tin, which was apparently a little bit easier than I thought it would be. I'm also going to have to probably find more silver, so... Yay! Let the fun begin. Oh great! Now I'm stuck down here. Alright, so all of that, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't have much to show for it. Great. But at the same time, it's better than nothing. And I do think I've learned some things. First off, I've learned that this generator is fantastic. All you have to do is run back and forth and it charges itself. I think it's probably better than the other two. Second, I've learned... This generator? Pointless. Don't need it. Turning it all the way down. There we go. Let's see if it still heats up as badly. It sure does. In fact, it heats up really bad. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Anyway, I did find a whole bunch of tin right here. I didn't know I'd thrown that in there. Well, there's some silver. So, because I, I needed that too. And right, let's chunk some tin in there. To be honest, there, there wasn't much left to find down there. But anyway, the reason we needed tin was because I needed it for for something. And now I have it, so... Yes, there you go. Hope that answers your question. Just thought of a faster way to do this real quick. If we grab some pulverized iron, 
Not that the machine isn't fast, it's just we're kind of in a rush here. We give a seven. It's a quick way to make it, if you don't mind using the resources. So how many of these do we need? 16, that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of those. All right. And that'll give us our force field emitters. That's not even what we really need to build. What we need to build is an iron thruster, which means we need more wiring, but we're all out of silver. Oh my gosh. Is there another way to get silver? We can get it. If we pulverize lead, we have a potential to get silver. Do we have any lead to pulverize? We do. We're gonna take everything we can get. Let's give that a shot. We don't really need that much left now. I mean, we're pretty close. Oh man, all I wish is that the the Tekkit guys would go ahead and mod the Minium Stone to include these other ores. That would be that would be all we need, and uh, everything would be great. And how do I have some left over? Don't know how that happened. We're now all out of lead in here. That's it's not good. While that goes, I'm going to go downstairs, and I'm going to see if I can't maybe... Hold on. I think I can justify using some tin real fast to do something here. Make some more basic plating. We'll go ahead and we'll install the heat sink across all the devices that we can install it on. Granted, it will be heavy. We'll see if this doesn't fix our overheating issue. There we go. Okay, so it's heating, but it is heating a lot slower. Now, explain to me why I can turn to the left. Okay, no, all right. There we go, I guess it's not really a problem per se. It is still heating up, though. I need to find a better way to keep the armor cool. And mm, might come down to just having to take off elements. What I want to know is what's really causing all the heat. Mm, oh, well. Right, search for silver. Let's get it on. Oh, gosh. Goodness gracious. This is not good. Oh, darn it. We did get four pulverized silver from pulverizing all that lead. Also, I found six whole silver ores. Woo! Fantastic. That really, really adds up to something there. Not really. Not at all, actually. Gets us virtually nowhere. But, on the plus side, there's three silver with which we can create... If I figure out what I did with the copper, did I use up all the copper? No, okay, it's down there. Very close though, very close. It's ridiculous the amount of resources this takes. All right. Thruster. These things. These things. Dang it. I missed something. What was it I was missing? It was glowstone? It's glowstone. Alright. Let's try that again. It's these things. It's these things. This stuff. And some of this. Ion thrusters. It's about darn time. You have no idea what I've gone through to get you here. Cables. Come here, cables. Alright, so... Jetpack. Installed. Thrust maximum. Oh gosh. I'm gonna guess that it went ahead and... Yes, it should have attached that to capital. These should just be always on. 
So we can actually hit the capital button if you want to toggle all that off or toggle it all on. Jetpack. We dun 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 dun. So it's basically the way I've got it set up right now. It's just pretty much doing the same thing as the jet boots, except for it's doing the jet boots and it's doing the it's doing the jet boots and it's doing the the jetpack together. So that wow, it's actually pretty impressive. Now we can apparently get more control over it if we build a what is it flight control. Which is just a, let's see, an integrated control circuit to help you fly better, press Z to go down. So apparently we can f press Z if we want to fly downward. And it's just a control circuit. What goes into that? So one control circuit is, oh, it's all that stuff again. We can, oh, I don't know. We're, we're sort of running low on resources. I did want to go ahead and add one more thing, though. And actually, I'm curious. Let's turn down these, the, the jet boots. Let's turn that all the way down. And let's see how much launch we get from just the jetpack. Okay, that's actually not too bad. From just the jetpack. It's actually pretty good. But what we really want to do is... We, we probably want to keep both of those on so that we can have... Because we are getting pretty heavy right now with all the stuff we've got on us. And we want to be able to have thrust anyway. While also keeping the, the heat shields all the way up. I know it's a bit obsessive. But what can I say? I like to have... I like, to, I like to have all of this stuff. Plus, it means we can... Anytime the armor runs down, all we have to do is run around. And as you can see, it just recharges like crazy, crazy fast. And if it gets too hot, take a dip in the water. It cools us down relatively quicker. Although, I don't know if that cools us down any faster than being on land. It doesn't look like it. Can we move through water without generating heat, though? Somewhat. Alright, but we can fly better now, I guess. That's that's sort of the key feature here. Even though we are so heavy, it's ridiculous right now. Oh, man. Let's get inside, and let's see what we can do away with. Is there anything on here we don't need anymore? Let's see. We definitely want to keep all of that. I'm really not sure why we have this. And to be honest with you, I don't think we need it. Salvage. What did we... Did we salvage anything? Oh, wow, we actually salvaged all of it. Sweet. So now we can go ahead and make the, the flight control install. Y look ratio. Let's turn it all the way up and see what that does. Oh gosh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So we are now just hovering in the air and how long have we been able to do that? Oh, I guess that's what this thing does. It gives us the ability to almost create a fly. Wow, so we can hover in the air and we can kind of stand still. But once we start moving, then we sink back down. And then tapping Z will make us go straight down. I'm not sure what the Y thing does, though. We need to take a look at that real quick. If we took that and we dropped that all the way down, would it still do that? Is that still how it works? I feel like we're we're just we're too much now. It's all starting to be a little bit too much. Let's take out that flight control. I don't really like it. There we go. It's, that's that's more to my liking. It's just kind of this power run and fly thing. It's kind of like that. We I can show you the world. Okay. Let's get back inside here. It's still a bit heavy, but what can you do? I guess what we could do is we can get rid of that iron plating. What goes into this? A, a force field emitter? We built one of those already. We kind of know what goes into that. What we need to focus on, though, is is the, the power gauntlet, and we need to make a weapon out of it. And to be honest with you, melee assist would pretty much take care of all my desires, but some of you guys have said... Some of you said build a railgun. <laughs> That's a bit extensive. Some of you said plasma cannon. Do we actually have the resources for that? Let's see. HV capacitor, two wiring, and another energy cell. So we need two of those, right? And then two more force field emitters. Which is...
See, no matter what we do, we're going to need a whole bunch of copper cabling and things. We just don't have the silver for that right now. So I don't think we'll be able to build it. Well, I really do want to build a force field emitter. I guess we'll go ahead and call the episode here. I'm going to do some more tweaking with the armor to try to figure out if there's any way I can make it lighter and not heat up quite as much. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll get back to you on that, though. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything you want to point out that might, might help me, that would be nice. Just let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.